It's been hiding in here. Hi, it's Eunice from Theory of Simple. Thanks for coming back to my channel today. Well, in today's gardening video, I wanted to go over some ideas I'm going to have about changing the way I trellis and vine my vegetables like squash and cucumbers and things like that. So last year I used this, which is great because it folds flat and it opens up to be able to form a trellis. But this area underneath got filled with leaves and there was a lot of fruit that I missed because it was all hiding under here. So now I'm going to try something a little bit different and use it in this position. Let's take a look. What I love about this stand is it folded flat and was easy to store. But what was difficult was this area here would fill up with greens and I wouldn't be able to see a lot of the vegetation and fruiting that went in underneath here. So I'm gonna make something a little bit different this year. As you can see, I've put up this old piece of fencing here to allow some things to vine up along the back. I simply put some pieces of wood and screwed them in behind the cattle panel to give some space for the vines to grow up through. I want to bring some things forward and let the fruit hang underneath, so I think I'm going to build this into a box. First thing I'm going to do is open this up so that it's no longer a triangle. It's going to form an L shape and I'm gonna put it in this bed here. I place the ends into this round tin so that it has something to sit against and have some stability on the bottom. And then the top of it will go up and brace along the fence, but I have to give it something to be anchored to. And get it up. There's a couple of old screws here. See if I can get it to stay like that, and do the same with the other one. And so now, instead of making that V shape, I have a big box shape here, it will hopefully allow the vines to grow up and give me a lot of room underneath to get my vegetation. All right, so now I have this up, but it's not very stable. And once I start getting vines growing all over this and fruit, it's gonna get heavy. So I need to anchor it to the fence. So I've purchased a variety of different things from the hardware store, some stainless steel eye hooks, some interlocking spring clips or carabiners, but I also found these double-sided clamps that I thought might be able to work, um, putting the eye hook against the trellis and some zip ties, because you can pretty much never go wrong with zip ties. Simply taking an eye hook and screwing it in to this part of the fence. Good and tight, I'm gonna take the screw and have it assist me and getting this in good and tight. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to try using this double-sided bolt latch. I can put one end on the eye hook and one end on the trellis, and that'll give me something pretty stable to put this on. So this way I know it's not gonna come off and fall over. I'm gonna do the same thing here to the other side. And again, I'm gonna use my handy dandy screw to put this in here and help me turn this. Now I'm just going to use my double latch hook here. I'll put one end on the trellis, one end into the eye hook. And now, this is secure, it's not gonna fall down. This will bear a lot of weight. All right, now that I have the corner secure, the thing is I need to get this middle secure as well. So again, I'm gonna use eye hooks, but this time I'm gonna use carabiners because it's closer to the fence. 
As you can see, these were just sitting on a couple of old screws, but I need to put some eye hooks in here to make sure that the center of these have some sort of security. Now, as you can see, the eye hooks and the carabiners are looped up over the trellis here and over the trellis here. Both of them are clamped and this isn't gonna go anywhere. This will give me enough stability for the heavy vines. Because this front is overlapping, I'm gonna use these zip ties just to make sure they stay together nice and secure. All right, now I feel like I have space to get under here to pick all the fruit I need from my vines. I feel there's good stability with all of the metal hooking and the zip ties are keeping the double lapped area nice and firm. So now my vines can grow up and I can hopefully get to the fruit hanging underneath here without having to dig around all over down low. Vertical weight will be carried down into these pots here. The double interlocking spring clips will hold the corners and keep it nice and secure. The carabiners will hold the back middle, zip ties the front, and all of this will give me perfect space for having my vines grow up and have me access the fruit underneath. As the vines start to grow, I'll use these clips to train them on the trellis. some of you might be wondering why I just didn't use zip ties for the whole thing. Well, in my experience, these vines can get really heavy and twisted around, and sometimes those zip ties will break and everything will just come crashing down. Also, with the stainless steel, it's not gonna rust, and I'll be able to use this over again. With all of the carabiners and the double-sided hooks, I'll be able to easily take this down in the fall or whenever I'm done using the vining material and put those away and reuse them again next year. So that was the catalyst for getting some of those with metal and not with this regular old zip ties. I've got some birdhouse gourds, my favorite spaghetti squash. So I have some cantaloupe and some cucumbers. All of these will trellis up over this and hopefully give me space to be able to pick things and keep it aerated. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video on how I'm going to trellis up my vines to give me a good space to go and get my fruit. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button. Until the next time, get outside, grow your own food, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh, tangle myself up in here. How'd I get in that?